so hello guys today we are going to discuss about bp online assessment uh, problem so the problem was related to the connected components let me just go to the problem first okay so um so problem is something like this that we are given the set of nodes for example a to b b to c x to c uh, and we have to find uh, that uh, that there whether there is any uh, whether there is any connected component in the graph or not okay so let me just try to speculate the problem so we are given a graph where a is connected to b b is connected to c then x is connected to c uh, x goes here or rather i'll say x is connected to c y is connected to x right and then we have q is connected to r r is connected to s and w is connected to z okay so this is a disjoint um, set or a disjoint graph then we are given uh, uh, the the output uh, or the nodes from where we have to start the traversal are a q and w so when we start from a we traverse um, for a we will traverse a b and c then for q we will traverse q r and s and then for w we will traverse w and z so we can see a b and c q r and s and w and z so we have not crossed any of the nodes in the graph so in this case the output will be false then we have another uh, input which is y z and a so in case of y uh, when we started y the nodes traversed would be uh, y x and c right and then for z the nodes traverse would node uh, traverse would be z only nothing and for a the node traverse would be a b and c so now in this case uh now in this case what we have is we have uh, node c which is actually uh common uh, that is it's common and we have intersected the node c uh, during this traversal so the output here will be true right so how we are going to solve this problem so the input is given as a uh, Uh, line separated strings something in this form and whenever we find input as the comma separated strings we have to output false true or false and this in from this input we have to create a graph so let's go to the main so uh, okay so let me just before going to main let me just try to explain the logic what uh, we can do so basically we'll be creating a graph uh from this and how the graph will be created we will be taking a hash map where the node or the start node would be uh, some uh, string or something and we will be taking vector of string which will be all the nodes all connected nodes so in this case the graph will be something as a and the vector would be b and c then uh, this will be uh, the key in the hash map and this will be the value right then um, similarly we'll have b and its value would be c only and for c we'll have nothing so it will be empty then similarly for y we'll have x uh, rather for Uh, sorry rather for a it will be b only similarly for y it will be x so if a is connected to let's suppose some somewhere z, uh, somewhere k as well so in that case a will have an entry of b and k directly connected nodes only okay but it's not there so let's not consider it 
okay and once we create our graph then what we'll do is we uh, whenever we have a comma in the output first of all we'll parse the input uh, if we have the arrow as a delimiter in the input then we'll consider this as uh, the input and we'll create a graph from all these inputs and when whenever we'll have comma we'll consider it as output line and we'll try to traverse the graph so once we have a comma we will traverse a graph from a so we'll go to a we we now for traversal we'll take a unordered set that is unordered set means it's only a hash map with only keys with only keys so what will happen now now we will insert all the nodes which can be reachable from a in this an ordered set so for example we'll insert a because we are tra tra traveling from a we'll insert b we'll insert c so now the another uh, for example we are taking q then we'll insert q we'll insert r we'll insert s and for w we'll insert w and we'll insert z so if we do not found a value which is a key which is inserted in this unordered set hash map of only keys will in will uh, print true but whenever we'll found find an entry which is already present in the unordered set we'll just return we'll just print false okay so let me just quickly show the output here so um, okay so let me just enter this so I have just printed the graph as well and then um, let me take a q w a q and w uh, okay so let me just print graph let me just not print the graph okay and let me do uh, g plus plus test dot cpp and let me quickly run the graph uh, quickly run the problem so let me go from a to b uh, and if I enter a wrong input, let's suppose this, it will say enter a valid line and it will continue. A, B to C, X to C, then Y to X, Q to R, R to S, W to Z. And let's suppose we have A, Q and W. It prints false. If we have Y, Z, and a it prints true if we have a w it prints false and if we have something which is not non-existent a t and y it will print true because a and y actually intersects and if we print o p so it will print false okay that's fine so let's go into the uh, into the code quickly so this actually is given as a boilerplate code uh, on uh, on the uh, like uh, the link which actually asks you to solve so here we are taking input as a line and uh, this I have taken so what uh, first of all I'm doing is um, I'm just trimming the line so for example line contains some spaces or line is not valid that it doesn't have a delimiter uh, it have a delimiter other than arrow or comma so in that case I'll just I'm just saying enter a valid line so let me go into trim so here uh, I'm taking the input string I'm just finding the last of uh, find the last not off of blank and finding the first not off of blank and then returning the string so in, in the case uh, if it contains any black line blank line it will just return true uh, and the valid input so in valid input I'm just checking that whether if I'm able to find a delimiter arrow or if I'm able to find a delimiter comma then in that case I'll just return true otherwise I'll just return false so in case of false it is not and I'll say enter valid line and I'll continue so in the next line 
I'm on the input line so in input line if I get arrow that means I'm getting an input line so I've taken a delimiter and then I'm tokenizing it so let me go to tokenize so in case of a tokenize I'm just finding the delimiter until the end of string and I'm just pushing it into the vector of tokens this one tokens so I'm just taking a substring I'm pushing into the token and finally I'm returning the tokens so because this is the output parameter it's returned as tokens so when the tokens is returned I'm just creating a graph from the first and the second token so in create graph it's very simple uh, this graph is a hash map okay let me just show you the graph as well so this graph is a hash map of string and vector of string and in case of the creation of graph I'm just pushing uh, if I'm able to find the entry or the source in the graph I'm just pushing back onto the um, and the second that is the uh, vector of the node that is the connected nodes and if I'm not able to find it I'm just pushing the fresh entry onto the graph okay let us go to the create graph then so create graph is complete and when the delimiter is comma in that case first of, first of all I'm tokenizing so tokenizing will again return the tokens and then I'm just traversing the graph so in the graph I have taken a queue because I'm doing um, for breakfast search it will be stack for, for breakfast search it will be queue and for stack it will be a uh, breakfast search so it's a breakfast search so I'm just going to all the nodes which are uh, connected to the present node so for this string I'm just going to the for loop I'm just pushing it onto the node uh, pushing it onto the queue until queue is empty uh, I find the node that is uh, for example here uh, I'm on A I found A so I'm just finding whether I can find A in the unordered set but it is empty so I'm not able to find I'll insert A in the unordered set I am then I'm doing that whether I have an entry of A that is any connected nodes of A that is I'll find B and I'll insert it into the queue so until I find all the nodes which I, which can be reachable from A I'll just insert into the unordered set and once uh, all the nodes exhaust so in that case queue will become empty and I'll enter to the second node so in this case I'll just do the same for Q so in this case I'll have ABC then I'll have QRS and then I'll have WZ and similarly I'll be uh, so whenever I found an entry in an ordered set that is this iterator is not equal to the unordered set dot, dot end I'm just printing true and I'm returning and whenever I uh, fill all the entries in the unordered set and I'm not able to find uh, any intersecting entry or the node I'm just printing false in that case so this code actually works and I'll just provide the link of uh, the code uh, the time complexity of this algorithm would be O of n n being the number of lines because in create graph we are just pushing either pushing at the end of the existing node or we are creating a new node so in that case it's O n in traversing the graph we are just again uh, going to every node so it can be a case that all uh, one node is connected to all the nodes so in that case it will be n for second node uh, it will be n again uh, so if there is um, it will be one because if we traverse all the nodes in first iteration and we have one node which is already there in graph so in the in first attempt it will find that entry is there in our order set and it will just print true in that case and for finding uh, uh, the this one right there is a function for valid input and input line uh, this find actually works in one time so finding creating and traversing all are done in uh, o of n time uh, so this is uh, actually how the code works thanks a lot guys have a good day